Hi, welcome to Damsels in Dice Stress. Yay. Yay. Uh, this is Demons and Daughters. Uh, episode three. Episode three, <laughs> yeah. Um, still don't know what I'm doing. So we have people at the table. Hi. Hi. Let me Hello. bring everybody in. People at the table. There we go. Uh, on the left, we have Rio. Hello. Uh, everyone else, start introducing yourselves. Oh. <laughs> I'm Morn. <laughs> I'm AJ. I'm Taya. Cool. We're <laughs> actors and we love D&D. Excellent. We are very comfortable in front of cameras. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. Um, We're just nervous. Well, just, yeah. We left ourselves in a bit of a sticky situation last episode. Mm. Yeah. Um, this week's episode is sponsored by me again, because I spent all the money on the cameras and the lights and the tablecloth. Sure, yeah. No, I don't have any. I, we can't be sponsored by Ethicoco this week. Aww. Don't have any example. Don't can't hold. Okay. That but yeah, exciting sponsors coming soon. Huh. Um. Yeah. So shall we? Do you want to do a recap? Get a recap in. Yeah. Sure. Okay, does anyone want to do me? I have to do yes. a recap. Yes. yes. I mean, okay. You are the DM. <laughs> okay, so last time we left people running around organizing a village fate. Uh, the responsibilities were of course placed you did. firmly on your shoulders uh, with the expectation that you would rise to the occasion and prove yourselves worthy of the Pen Hallow name. I believe we finished with you taking a midday nap in your bedrooms. <laughs> Agatha very... needed a rest. She's very rest. sick. The rest of us weren't napping. You all retired to your bedrooms about halfway through the day, which <laughs> feels very upper class. Um, <laughs> yeah, I believe we I left off. Like some uh, breaking and entering was Ooh. undertaken um, into an elder brother's private study. Uh, some voices were raised, and everything's fine. I guess we find out how the cookie crumbles. Sure. So, we left off. You were all in your bedrooms. Intro. Roll intro. <laughs> but let's go. <laughs> it's already begun. Oh, Ominous. wow. You can hear the grandfather clock in the hallway. Tock, tock, tock. What time is it? It's 1.47. <laughs> Do we... Would I, as Rosalind, know what time Archibald is about, is likely to get home? You had a conversation with him. I did. But he just said, yeah, he said he was running errands. Yeah. So I suppose that could mean anything. Yeah. Well, we left me sat in my room, uh, having had a very not nice interaction. And I keep sitting there. 
for a bit and I'm very aware that there's a lot of things I should be doing that I'm not but I just don't really want to go and get these two and get them back after what's happened. Tyler is sat uncomfortably in her room like being like just needing to do something pacing back and forth and after like 20 minutes she's like okay <sighs> leaves the door goes back to Rosalind's room knocks on the door come in open the door and I don't come in didn't we um didn't we have to go to a farm or something yes we did we should probably do that then. Probably. Right. I'll go get Agatha. Okay. And I'll go to Agatha's room. Come in. Hello. How's it going? I'm looking. Okay. Uh, Rosalind and I are going to the to the farm to oh, check on things. Are, yes. are you wanting to come? Yes, I, I, I shall, yes. Okay. Right. Um, give me a few minutes. I'll, I'll come meet you. At the, at the stables? Uh, yes, yes. I'll, I'll meet you down there. Okay. I'll go back to Rosalind's room. Rosalind is no longer there. I have found myself just walking through the house, not really sure where I'm going to go but I just have this real feeling that I cannot leave this house with what's gone on. I can't just walk away from this situation. And for a minute I stand in a hallway and I sort of look one way and I look the other and I don't know what to do. And then I take a deep breath and I walk to Archibald's study. Okay, I'll make a perception check. Eight. Always deceptively quiet, I guess. Okay. But, you know, it happens. It's midday, probably the staff are having lunch. I'm going to very gently ease the door and see if it's still unlocked. Mm -hmm. and the door creaks as it opens. Is it empty? Mm hmm I quickly slip inside and close the door behind me. Okay. And I'm going to look for the potential broken thing that Talia mentioned. Mm -hmm. Okay, make an investigation check. 15. 15. Yeah, you look around, you check various things. One of the first places you check is the drawer of the desk, which slides open. You can see uh, the lock on it has been bent down to allow it to open. Immediately, I just start panically fiddling with the lock and trying to see if I can push it back into its position or work out what exactly is wrong with it. Um, okay, make an investigation check. Okay. 16. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see this lock is... The hook of this lock that would normally go up into a, a latch um, is, is bent out of shape. Um, and you're going to need some sort of leverage to bend it back. Okay. Um, but that's not going to allow you to lock the door, uh, the drawer. That's going to leave it unable to close. You're going to have to find a key. Okay, I'm going to... After fixing it. Very carefully search mm -hmm. Archibald's office. One, for something I can use for leverage, mm -hmm. and two, for the key. But I'm going to do it very so carefully. And once I've looked, you know, under something, I put it back mm -hmm. exactly where it was. And I'm I'm trying to be quick, but I'm also really trying to, like, not move anything from where it was. Okay, uh, make another investigation check. I'm looking for a key. And presumably something that you can use to leverage this lock back into place. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, you find a... Um, you do find something you could use to leverage the lock. Uh, it's a, a small metal ruler you think that could be workable. Some sort of right-angled measuring device. And you're like, that, that could work. Um, no sign of a key. Okay. Uh, well, I can find the key later. While I've got this, I kneel down by the drawer and I try and, like, use the thing to jimmy it back into place. Okay. Make a... Um... 
is all the things I'm bad at. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I guess you know, make he's a... not bad at that. <laughs> I know. Make a sleight of hand check. Fuck. Okay. Nine. <laughs> No, um, so you try and you try and bend it back, and you just you can't seem to get the right angle. You don't have enough strength, but the lock isn't bending. More, more the um the ruler thing that you've got is bending instead. Okay. Possibly need maybe yeah a, something stronger that could really get to grips with this lock. Okay, I'm gonna have another frantic search around the room. Yeah, cool. There's no point rolling. You've already rolled. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna put the the metal thing back where I found it. I'm mm. gonna try and put it back. Has it bent out of shape at all? Mm, no, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna put that back where I found it. Mm -hmm. Um, close the drawer. Leave that again as I found it. Mm -hmm. Um, slip out of Archibald's room very slowly and carefully. Mm -hmm. Uh, close the door behind me as it was. And then again, I just find myself standing in a hallway. You remember who is good with their hands. And in the past has been known to be able to fix little situations that they've caused before. And I am still counting to myself, and I go back to where I left Talia. Mm -hmm. Before that, when I get to the room, and Rosalind's not there, I look down the halls. Do I see anyone? Uh, make a perception check. 14. No. Nah, Quite 13. always. I walk into her room. And I just look around. I'm not searching through anything. I just stand in her room looking around. Do I see anything that would mean anything to me? Make a perception check. Natural one. Okay, well, that's an easy question for you then. <laughs> Nothing stands out. I go over to the window. I look out over the garden. Yeah. And I just stand there. Um, <clears throat> while this is happening, I am in my room looking at the code that Talia gave me last night. Mm -hmm. um, I'm scanning my... 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Oh, it's the same day. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty minutes. No ago. time has passed. No. That's my my mistake. Um, I'm looking at it. I'm racking my brains, but and I'm trying to look out for the patterns and any um repeated symbols. Um, <laughs> do I see anything of importance? Um, you already made. A check on it before about oh, 20 minutes ago yeah. so I'm gonna say no more than last time you recognize okay. that there are you can see that there are patterns yes. there it's gonna take time okay um, in that case I um, slip it into my pocket because my dress has a pocket <laughs> <laughs> absolutely doesn't <laughs> um, and I start making my way to the stables making my way making my way down there <laughs> So I suppose I go back to the landing outside my room, which is where I thought I would find Talia. Have you left my bedroom door open? Yes. Okay. So now I just stand in the doorway and I see you in my room and I try not to focus on that. Uh, I try to fix the lock. Did you? No. I fear I'm not good at things like that. Yes, I think that was usually where I came in. 
Do you want to come in now? Okay. And I turn and I start going back towards Archibald's room. And I didn't look at you through any of that. I was looking out the window and I turn around and I follow. Go to close the door and take one last look in the room before I do. Cool. So you're heading to the office The again. study again. Mm-hmm. Down the hall. Yes. And the door is still closed as I left Just it. Just the way you left it, yeah. Okay. I'm again very gently going to try and ease it open. Sort Ooh. of looking around before I, you know, push it any further. Is there anyone else around? No, nope, not that you can see. Door creaks open. It's empty. I go inside. And I wordlessly follow. I go back and I pick up the metal thing and I sort of awkwardly, like, show it to prove that I did something and I did try. Mm -hmm. Um, I I found this and I I tried to... It it seems that the lock has has somehow shifted and is in the wrong position. I I tried to to get it back, but I, I don't think I was strong enough and and besides once even once that's done we need we need to find the key i suppose don't suppose you remember where that might have been if i'd found the key i wouldn't have sorry Look, can you try and i give her the metal thing mm-hmm. i don't even know what it's called the metal thing i like bend it a bit sure. um, it bends a little bit, yeah. It's it's fairly soft, flexible metal. It's not great. I'm not enjoying watching that, but fine. This isn't going to work. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that could be used as leverage? You could try using your bare hands. Sick. Let's do that. You already ripped the drawer open once and it occurs to you that perhaps you got, you're got stronger than you feel. Okay. I go over and I try and bend the lock. Mm-hmm. Can I make a yeah, strength check? Why am I shaking? This is scary. 17. Yeah, you very carefully bend this brass piece of metal back upright. How are you doing that? How did you, I, I how did you get it off in the first place? I, I I didn't actually think it was going to open when I pulled on it. And then it did. So I thought, if I can bend it one way, maybe I can bend it back. Well, I never knew a girl such as yourself to have such strength. No, me neither. Uh, We should look again. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I just thought it would be some fun. I I didn't mean to. Well, it wasn't. I know, I know. And I'm really sorry. Okay. Look, let's just look, look, help me look for a key because I, we need to get this back to how it was before Archibald gets home. And I just start looking around again. We know that we're not the ones who are good at looking for things, Rosie. Good, Agatha, where did you leave Agatha? She was going to meet us at the stables. Oh, fine. Well, let's go and get her then. At least, I mean, this is better than it was, but... Okay, we have to be quick. Again, leave the room, <laughs> close the door. Mm-hmm. Pushing the Being door like two. Being careful, yeah. Yeah, sure. Make so, any perception check. Both of us? Yeah. Three. Natural 20. Natural 20. Great. You hear footsteps coming uh, up the main stairs. The sort of methodical footsteps of Reginald Vermont. Okay, so the study is here. Where where are the stairs? Do we have to like pass him? You will have to pass him if you're going to the stables. If we're, but we can go somewhere else. You could go up the long way around. Back. The way I you grab can. you by the wrist and run. Okay. You're stronger than me. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> make. But like quietly. Okay. okay like... make, make a stealth check with disadvantage, both of you. Because you're running. Oh, that was a really good roll. Fuck! Fuck! Mm. Three. Cool. Um, four. Okay. So you make your way to the stables. Got to run. 
Okay. Along with that. I like a I like a fast shuffle. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not out. I'm definitely not out. I'm slowing her down. Mm -hmm. Like if she's trying we're to run, I'm not it. letting her. There's no pegging in this show, guys. <laughs> Is there? Georgiana. <laughs> anyway, yeah, making your way to the stables. Okay. I am just at the stables, <laughs> uh, holding my dress up a little bit, not enough to show skin, just to get it out of the mud. <laughs> And I am waiting patiently. But even though I'm waiting patiently, I am very, very anxious and looking around. Uh, we tried to fix the lock and... I, uh, we fixed the lock, but now, now it's locked and, uh, and it's open and we need the key and... Well, neither of us can find it and... It it just I, I do hate to drag you into these things, Agatha, and I'm so sorry, but it just feels like the sort of thing that you could do far better than either of us. Rosalind, just I need to talk to Talia for a minute. And I pull okay. Talia okay. aside. What did I say to you? I said not to meddle with his things again. I wasn't I wasn't trying to I, she I, she was asking do for you help. Want and me to crack this code or not? I was trying to make it better, I was trying to fix it. If he finds the drawer broken, then he's going to know. If we can fix the lock, if we can find the key and lock it back up, then he won't know, and it'll be better. I, I was just saying, okay. Am I hearing this? How quiet are they being? <laughs> Not very. It doesn't sound like you're being quiet to me. It does. You probably tried to be. Yeah. Just... Talia, I really do not like the situation I know, you've been in. I understand, and I'm really sorry, but... I'm trying to fix right. it. Okay. I will go look for the key, and that's it. That's final. Okay. All right. Rosalind, let's go back up. Thank you. I, let, we'll, we'll be very quick, I promise. And, okay, we... Make our way. <laughs> make our way back to Archibald's study. Mm-hmm. Sure. And this Do time, we... I'm not letting anybody run. I'm going ahead at a very normal pace, and I'm smiling, and everything is well. Cool. Um, at the bottom of the stairs, you're greeted by Reginald. So is there? Is it stairs? Archibald study. Yeah, Reginald. Main, main, main doors. Okay. I'm... Grand hallway. Large stairs going upstairs. Two. Oh, because his study is his bedroom, so it's upstairs. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was. Yeah. Where a study normally is. Uh, so at the bottom of the stairs, you pass Reginald. Good afternoon, <coughs> ladies. Good afternoon, Mr. Good afternoon. Beaumont. I hope you're both well. You seem out of breath. Both. Oh, well, well, we've been running around town all morning doing all sorts for the, the May Day fete. Ah, yes, the fete. I heard you were in charge of that now. Yes. Sounds like I'm sure you do a wonderful job. Thank you, sir. We are all very excited. Excellent. Excellent. Will you be needing anything from me today? Uh, we will need some horses to get to the farm, probably. Yes. yes. Uh, our next okay. task is to uh, to ride out to... A couple of the farms, actually, and check in on the flowers. If you could perhaps send word to a stable boy or Mr. Griddle to ready some horses for us. Do you need someone to accompany you? Uh, if you think that would be more appropriate. I, I don't make it my business to ride out to the farms myself very often. I'm, I'm sure, yes. I'll see if I can find someone. Thank you. Not a problem. Uh, we, shall, we shall be out by the, the horses awaiting. Excellent. I will, yes, I'll go speak to the farrier. Get something uh, organised. Can Thank we you. request who it is? Of course, my lady. Did you have someone in mind? Yes, I... <laughs> well, it's just... Yes. I rather think that Seth might enjoy a ride out to the farm. And I know that he potentially doesn't know how to ride a horse very well and it might help him to learn it, it might be useful as you wish thank you sir I'll, I'll 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 find something for you as a thank you there is really no need right i will go and arrange the horses for you if you'll excuse me thank, thank you thank you no problem uh, and he, uh, yeah, heads outside. Okay, and once he's gone, mm -hmm. we head up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, get to the door. The study sounds quiet again. Mm -hmm. Third time, mm -hmm. easing it open. Open. Very gently. Mm -hmm. Come in, come in. 
I'll stay watch. Good idea. Uh, right. A key. I'm. Yes. I'm uh, looking for a key. Yes, for, for this lock, anything that looks like it might fit here. Okay. Are you okay. helping? Yes. Okay. So make a investigation okay, check with know. advantage. Now for twenty. Okay. Um, you can't get yeah, better. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll stick with it. You could roll two nets in 20s. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'd have to reward yeah. that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, plus four, so 24. 24, cool. I love you, um, Agatha. <laughs> <laughs> um, in your time spent reading many, many books, mm-hmm. uh, including mystery books and and all sorts, you, you are fully aware of people of where people like to hide keys in offices. And so you methodically start looking through the various places you've read about in books. Um, and speaking of books, in a book, you find a key. Rosalind, I found a key. Well, we can try it. Okay. I pick up the key out of the book. Mm-hmm. I go to the drawer and I slide it in. Okay, as you... As the tip of the key enters the hole, it's sort of... <laughs> key. Just mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as the tip goes in. It doesn't quite... Oh, no, it does. It slides in. Oh, thank God. Okay. And then I turn it to the left. The left. Sure. Really lock it. Un- <laughs> right, you, lock you, un- it. you unlock it. And then lock it. To and then unlock, lock it. Yeah. Look, okay. Back, 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 and back then in the I, book where you found it. Yeah, I jimmy it and it doesn't move. Okay. Everything seems locked in yeah. place. Oh, thank goodness. I think I have done it. Okay. And I go back Do to Do I the... see anyone outside during any of this? Make a perception check. No, I don't. Ten. Cool. Don't see anyone. Okay. It's quiet again. Um, Any sorry. noises? Just I... various... House noises. House noises. I go back to the book, put the key in, put the book back on the shelf where Mm -hmm. I found it. What book is that? What book is it? It's a notebook. Okay. Um, It's a notebook, Rosalind. Well, I suppose it's none of of our business. Uh, Look, let's let's leave quickly, please. Okay. So exit, close the door. Well... Out to the stables, I suppose. Agatha, thank you so much. It's okay. I don't want to do anything like this ever again. I I understand, and I will try my best that that does not happen. Yes, of course. Well, let's go check in on the flowers, shall we? Yes, let's. And go back out to the the Mm -hmm. stable. Sure. Um, there's a couple of stable boys there holding some three horses waiting for you. Oh, miss, we've got your horses ready for you. Thank you. Not a problem. Are you going anywhere nice? Oh, only out to a few of the farms. Oh, we're to check on the flowers for May Day. Oh, great. Oh, I love May Day. Yes, well, we shall ensure that it is a splendid day and everything goes smoothly. Oh, thank you, miss. It's always one of them. It's my favourite holiday. It was one of mine too when I was young. It still is, really. Oh, fantastic. I'm so glad it's you're in charge of doing it. Oh, thank you. It's I'm very sure sweet. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Thank you. I, I hope so. Well, it's not just me. My, my cousins I brushed the horses down and everything for you. Oh, thank you. And whatever else it is that people do with horses... <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, thank you. I I am sure that the horses are very lucky to have you taking care of them. Oh, thank you, miss. There are only three horses. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, one more for a, a junior footman who will be accompanying us. Oh, that's right. not too much trouble. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, one, yeah, three. Oh, of course. Yeah, I miscounted. Uh, it's Hold just all right. Hold on. And he scurries off into the stables. Counting is hard sometimes. Um, and, <laughs> and comes back uh, two, three, four minutes later uh, with a, a saddle loosely thrown over. Um, right, I'll just, I just got to get this guy strapped up. And, um, and yeah, and then there'll be four, right? One, yes. two, One. three, four, four, yeah. Yes, well done. Yeah, 
Okay, and yeah, he's uh, cinching the straps under the belly, uh, pulling it really tight. I I've seen this done on TV. Yeah. I know how it works. It's like, get him right in there. Uh, <laughs> gives the... With his strength. Yeah, yeah. Agatha. His strength. I, I knew that. Gives the horse a... On its butt. It's like, there you go. Mm -hmm. Four. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, I suppose Mr. Beaumont will send Seth out to us shortly. Uh, and yeah, about that time, serendipitously, he comes to join you. I, you see me like kind of start running towards you guys, like round the corner running, see you guys there, and then slowly walks, because that's the proper thing to do. But then I kind of look around, is a Reginald anywhere nearby? Do I see Reginald? Uh, make a perception check. <clears throat> One. <laughs> no, he's not. He, I can't see him. No. You see nothing. I see nothing. Okay, so I can. So I continue to run you towards you guys. Your yeah. horse. <laughs> barely, I, so I continue to run to you guys, and I trip slightly over myself, but I don't fall down this time, which is an improvement. Um, and then I get to you guys, and I like I have a smile on my face because I thought when Reginald was going to approach me, I was going to get in trouble. Mm. But he said, "You guys want to wait? Bow, bow, bow. Confident bow. Like once again, back to the confident bow. It's like uh, I'm here to help you, Miss." Miss, miss. Thank you. Uh, we've prepared a horse for you. I don't know. It's have... okay. We can we can help. Okay, but I can't ride horses. Well, we we can go slowly. I am sure Agatha, you would prefer that also. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, do, shall I help you onto your horses? Uh, yes, thank you. Is my horse set up with a side saddle? Yes. I'm Is not my... riding side saddle. Is my horse not set up with side <laughs> Correct. You want to swap? You... I think we'd rather ought to teach you how to ride properly. And if I'm going to do that, um, I might also need a regular saddle. Please. A regular saddle? Yes, not a side saddle. A side saddle is a regular saddle for... Yes, I understand, but I would like a saddle that you would use for the men. Uh, you, you won't okay. be in trouble. Okay, no, I can... I just need five five minutes, yeah? Of course. Okay, hold on then. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, and he goes and fetches the other boy again. Uh, five minutes later, I come back with a horse with a regular man saddle. For you to sit astride on. <laughs> Whew. Cool. So I help you onto your horse. Thank you. I help you onto no, your horse. No, you don't. You get me a. Step <laughs> I'll get you a step ladder, <laughs> and then okay. So I, I hold it in place mm -hmm. for you to get I'm, up, and then I go to help you onto your horse. I'm already You're on already my on your horse, <laughs> and then I struggle for the next no, step two. Actually, I'm not. I turn to you. Do you need some help? Up? I can show you how. With that. Be okay, miss. It's okay. Would that... This feels very improper. I won't be near you. I'm just going, I will get onto my horse and show you how to do it. I mean, there is this, the steps that we just used for Agatha. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, a, feel free to use my steps. Like how, to use, steps up. how to get on the horse properly. Okay. And if not, you can use the steps. Okay. I shall. Okay, yes. And then I slowly get onto my horse. Okay. I can hike myself up. Okay, you're helping him on. I'm sh I'm helping by showing. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. That you're on your own then. So make an animal handling check. Oh, that's not many stars. Fourteen. Yeah. I get on. You just you just copy, you copy Talia. You put your foot in one step, pull yourself up, and over you go. You're like, oh yeah, easy. Cool. Now what? I really hope we don't. <laughs> right. I'm fully unaware that I fall off, I will die. Now what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really could. <laughs> well, uh, we have to visit Mr. Edward Young's farm and Mr. William, I believe, Clark. I can't read my own writing. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, and I believe uh, Mr. Young's is uh, the first one, so shall we? Yeah, so these are both your father's farms, and the Williams is... No, sorry, the, the Youngs and the Clarks are the... Whatever the word is for people that... They rent they rent the farms. Yeah, the tenants, that's it. Okay, you, make, you start making your way there. Make another animal handling check for riding. You copy the 
You copy the girls, you see they kind of do that whole thing with their feet. Nobody on camera can see that. Oh, I got one. <sighs> Is Seth about to die? So... <laughs> The three of you kind of in unison, so look at each other, ready to go. Yeah, so you all like give that kind of thing with your feet to be like, yep, off we go. Mm -hmm. uh, Seth sees you do that. Very excited. So Seth also gives the horse a kick with his feet and off that horse goes at full gallop. Oh, God. Whooshes right past all three of you, barges through, and he's away. Tyler immediately goes after him. Okay, great. Oh, well, I suppose we better follow. You just and I go, just follow ah! a very normal calm pace. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do hope he is okay. Okay. Okay, two groups. Okay, um, <laughs> how do we do horse racing? Okay, have um... I, have I got I mean, we're not yet? trying to catch up. We're no, just... I know. No, but Talia okay. is. Okay, uh, you, uh, Seth, make a dexterity check. Make an acrobatics check. Oh, it's all the same for you. Thirteen. 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 Okay, um, you are... Beginning to feel yourself sliding off towards the side of the horse. Make a strength check. God. 18. Okay, you hold on tight. <laughs> you hold on to that saddle tight. Cool, cool. Cry. You hear me screaming in the. <laughs> Talia, make an animal handling check. 14. 14. Good enough. You are a, a, a reasonable rider. Um, I would say you are maybe. 15 feet behind him at the moment. You've caught up and you've got to, you've got to catch up. Okay. Uh, you can see him holding off. Uh, make another animal handling check. 15. 15, okay. Okay. Make another animal handling check. 10. 10. <laughs> you, he's, he's getting away. You need to give it some more. Okay, um, okay make another dexterity check. God. 13. 13. Okay. Okay. Yeah? You might be losing your drift. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I'm fine for now. For now. Are you? I don't know. Mm. I just shout, hold on, pull on the reins! I'm trying! You're gonna try and pull on the reins? Uh, yeah, I guess if that's the instruction I've been given. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I'm gonna instruct to do something that's gonna actually help. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. I don't know anything about horses. I'm <laughs> assuming that's the thing that I say. That, yeah, that would help. Pulling on the reins, letting it know. Um, Okay, yeah, make an animal handling check with disadvantage. Isn't that... Because now you're trying to control the horse rather than just stay on the horse. Seven. Yeah, no. He's, he's trying, he's kind of bumbling with the um with the reins and stuff, and you're also, like, you're only one-handed because you, well, barely no hand. Like, you're not pulling on the reins as the way you think you are because you're actually just gripping onto the saddle. And you're like, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, but you're not gonna let go of that saddle. Uh, make another animal handling check. As you sort of give the horse as Seven. much as you can. Okay, your horse, I guess it's just slower. How far away am I? Mm, 20 meters. Maybe like, like three, how many feet? Let's say like three horse lengths. Three feet. feet, I don't know. Okay, Nigel. I need to know if I can make it on <laughs> foot. On foot. Oh, he's real, you're on you're a horse. On a horse. The horse hasn't yeah. stopped. I'm down. Um, <laughs> Tony's gonna race a horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's on brand. Uh, I forgot that it was moving. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do other than chase after you and try to yeah, try and keep, help. You gonna keep chasing them? Yeah. Do I have to roll again? Uh, yeah. Make another animal handling check. Seven. <laughs> no, he's he's gaining gaining distance. From where we are, mm -hmm. if I look around, can I see anybody nearby that might be able to help? Like anyone with a horse nearby, like any men nearby. Um. So in the so the the pathway so I'm that leads we've from just the left. yeah, so that you've gone from the, the sort of main entrance of the manor house, long pathway down in towards the village. On either side, there are fields. Um, and there were people working in the fields. Uh, you don't see anyone sitting on a horse. There are a couple of horses around. There's one ploughing. Um, another is just sort of tied off grazing. Okay. Um, but there doesn't seem anyone that you can shout to for help. Okay. So there's, if I if I try and shout for help for these people, that's not worth it, is what you're saying? Yeah, they're busy. And, like the horse will be whoosh before they even look up. Okay, I just carry on riding then. <laughs> yep. And I follow suit. 
a lovely spring afternoon ride for you. I mean, I'm stressed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jake quietly in the distance. <laughs> okay. Um, make a another animal handling check. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, you're holding one. Uh, you also make an, another animal handling check. Natural twenty. Oh. God. Natural twenty. Okay. You lean forward in your horse, in get your down horse. low on your horse, um, and sort of just encourage this horse to give it everything it's got. Um, and yeah, like your your bones are shuddering as this horse is is galloping down this uh, gravel dirt track. And slowly, 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 you begin to catch up, and you find yourself side by side with Seth's horse. Okay, are you like at an angle? I assume, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little. I'm okay, like... I try and like push him mm-hmm. upright. Okay. And grab onto his reins. Okay. Uh, make another so, like, animal horse. handling check with disadvantage for his horse. I got five both times, so five. Cool. Uh, no, this horse is in a bit of a bit of a panic now because it's not used to having someone on it. It's very confused. It's got a rider on his back that doesn't seem to be giving it any instructions and it's just running and it's not used to, like normally when someone is on this horse's back, they know what they're doing. Yeah. And so this horse is just in a bit of a state of confusion now. And it's kind of starting to enjoy themselves now that there's another horse racing with him. (laughs) Right. Okay. I... Make a make another strength check just to make sure you're holding on. Eleven. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Right. Hold on like this. You can let go of the saddle. Hold on to the reins. I know. And pull up. You're, when you look at me, you can see true, genuine fear in my eyes. Like, I don't know I what I'm doing. I will catch you if you fall. You will not fall. Trust me. So I, this is the most eye contact I've made with you in like ever. So then I grab the reins and then on I... three, one, two, three. Animal check with disadvantage. Uh, advantage, sorry. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was a one. <laughs> Jesus. That was a twelve. It's got to slow down a little bit. It's got to slow down a little bit. Yeah. With the two of you, your horse is slowing down with him. That's enough for the... Yeah, you bring the horse to a stop. Uh, and you find yourselves at the front entrance to the manor house. The large iron gates open with the stone pillars that are attached to the gates. So I guess the gates are attached to the pillars. But... The manor house? So they've gone back? No, the gates to the manor house at the beginning oh, okay. of, the, uh, of the track. Oh, that's a long track. Yeah. Okay, as long as I thought. Mm. Don't it's mind fine. me. Just don't know what my house looks like. <laughs> Are you okay? E- e- yes, and I go to bed. Don't back. bow, you're on a horse. <laughs> yes, okay. yes, miss. Um, would you Would you like to stay trying to ride the horse, or would you like to get onto the back of mine? I think I want to stay on this horse. Okay. <clears throat> because I want to get better. Yes. Stay near me, okay? I will. Right. We'll we'll wait here until the others get to us. Yes, I think that would be good. But for a first time, you didn't fall off the horse. You're very strong. You did a very good job. I really want to bow because you're <laughs> praising me and but You will fall off the horse. In my head I'm like, alright, you owe her two bows. But I'm like uh yes, miss. Thank um, you. I do not let go of his reins. Mm-hmm. Uh meanwhile, Rosalind and I are <laughs> <laughs> leisurely uh trotting up to the <laughs> side <laughs> just oh, nice right. right. About five minutes later, you catch up with them at the uh, at the, f- at the front gates. Uh, is everything all right? Yes, thanks for the help. Oh, well, what were we supposed to do? I'm sorry for the inconvenience, miss. No, um, of course I, not. I, Are you okay? 
I, I am perfectly fine. Um, I, I am perfectly fine. Um, Are you all right to stay on the horse? Um, yes, uh, Miss Miss Bronson will um, help me, I believe. Yes. So I apologise, and once we get to the farm, I will do everything to make sure it's an easier time for all of you. Of, of course. I am glad you are unharmed. I am sorry. It's okay. Let's let's just keep going, please. Okay. So Off with towards you ta- the farm. Yeah, with you taking his horse's reins, you lead the horse, uh, and you don't have any more untoward situations. Jeez. As you make your way towards, uh, did you say the Young's farm? Yes. Okay. My heart. Um, I hate to interrupt, mm-hmm. but the word okay did not exist until <laughs> 1839. Are you feeling quite well? No. <laughs> you fall off your horse and die. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Not can- sorry. Back to the farm. Yes, not canon. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, you slowly make your way towards the farm at a slower pace than you would <laughs> like. Um, but yeah, after about 35 minutes of, of riding, perhaps 40 minutes, uh, you get to the Young's farm. What do we see? You see uh, a number of young farmhands uh, busy working in fields. It's early spring. Um, I think most most stuff has been planted. People are just sort of wandering around, checking checking things, uh, shooing away birds away from little saplings, that sort of stuff. Um, you see a scarecrow in one of the fields, um, which is a bit odd, and you realise it's actually a young boy that <laughs> has been tied up to a stake, possibly by some other young boys who are standing there throwing uh, stones at him. Aww. Have we stopped moving? You're just walking along the... The path towards the farmhouse. So, so we're not on the horses. We've got off our horses. No, you're still on the horses. Oh, cool. As far as I'm aware. Uh, I just wait for Seth to help me off my horse. Yeah. Sure. So the, the boy who's tied to a thing mm-hmm. is he's like through crops. Uh, he's in the middle of the field. Yes, yeah, sort of dirt. How muddy, far away? Cloud. Um, in feet or meters? In feet. In feet. Uh, fifty feet. Sure. I won't take my horse because it'll ruin things. So I get off the horse mm-hmm. and I say nothing to these guys and immediately start heading over to the. Okay. What sort of shoes are you wearing? I don't know. Shoes that I find to go to a farm in. Okay. I feel like you wear boots. Yeah, Tyler <laughs> stays in boots. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah, so you, yeah, you start, uh, you hitch up your skirts and start clumping your way through the ploughed field towards these boys. I've gotten off my horse and I'm helping you off the horse and. Then I'm getting the ladder, I guess. Yeah, the, the ladder. <laughs> you, did, you did not take the steps with Okay, you. so I get on my hands and knees so you can step on my back and then get okay. onto the floor. It's the closest thing I've got. Right. Um, uh, and Seth, ice down. I've gone bright red. Um, and then I get up and I bow and I bow and I and then I look, go to help you and then I see you sprinting <laughs> off in the distance. And I, Okay, as you get closer to the boys, uh, there's three boys standing around the boy that they've hitched up onto this, uh, onto this, I don't want to call it a crucifix, a stake. Um, um, and he's got sort of rope tied around his waist, and um, the stones they're throwing at him are quite small, and they're not actually hitting him, they're throwing them at the floor and stuff, just to make him jump around and stuff like that, and they're kind of laughing, like, that's it, scare, be a scarecrow, scare away the, Does scare the one away the birds. tied up look like he's... Part of the fun. Make a make an insight check. Thirteen. Not really, no. Fab. I think you. It might have seemed fun at first, but perhaps not anymore. He's definitely the smallest out of these four boys. Cool. Uh, Rosalind has seen what's going on, mm-hmm. and I am just going to go up to the nearest farmhand and. Uh, uh, good day, uh, sir. I. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Takes his hat off. Uh, I was wondering if you might uh, fetch uh, Mr. Young for me. Oh, pa, yeah, no problem. Uh, yes, we're, we're on business for the, for the May Day uh, fate. Yes, my lady. Uh, but I, it seems there's a little bit of a situation over here which my, my cousin is attending to, so... It's just the boys having a little fun, a bit uh, of horseplay. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I, I am sure. Uh, my cousin can be quite uh, unpredictable, so I'm 
I'll be over there with them. If you could send Mr. Young, uh, if yes. that's all right. Uh, right away, ma'am. Thank you very much. And I, not indecently fast, but I, I do make my way over. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. He, uh, yeah, goes into a trot and starts uh, heading off towards the uh, the farmhouse. Does anybody try and set the <laughs> Oh, yeah. Boarding the, <laughs> like, four horses. Go, go. And <laughs> I, um, I follow suit again. Have I got to them? Uh, yes. I saw that evil look. <laughs> How many took my help? So what? he is about to get bullied by children. <laughs> no, you just left Seth alone with four horses. Yeah, I thought I Agatha was going to stay. <laughs> Oh. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I'll tie them up. I'm sure it's fine. They're not moving. Not yet. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just having some fun. Does it look like he's having fun? Yeah. Are you having fun? I was. But are you currently? Yes. Do I believe him? I give an insight check. Natural one. Yes, you do. Oh. You obviously made a mistake. <laughs> well, if you're at this point, I've gotten that. If you're quite mm -hmm. uh, is sure, it, is, is everything all right over here? Oh, Miss Penhallow. Yeah, we're just having some fun. We're keeping away the birds. Right, isn't um, isn't that usually done with with a, a doll that's not a human? Forgive me, I don't know things about farms. Yes, but like sometimes it's just a bit of fun to like dress up and teach the birds that sometimes the scarecrows can move. Perhaps, but but you're not the one dressed up. So it seems to me, if you think that's fun, you should be the one. Oh, he volunteered. At this point, I have arrived also. Well, as he's having so much fun, it seems like maybe you should all take it in turns. So why don't we get this one down and we'll put one or, of you up or there. Or maybe you'd all be better suited to, to all the jobs that I know need doing by actual human hands. Uh, and we leave the doll for the day. We'll come back to our fun later. And we all set about the more useful work. As you, I'm sure you know, uh, the May Day Fete is coming up and we all love that. It's wonderful fun, isn't it? Yeah, we love the May Day Fair. I like all the games. Coconuts, you get to throw the ball at the coconut. Oh, yes. I have heard about Coconut Shy. Yes. Yes. It's like, 100% they did it not is. play Coconut Shy in Regency <laughs> when they did not have coconuts, but I couldn't think of anything else. Well, in our or maybe version, like, they do. Like, what's a large fruit that you'd get in England? Just like big apples. Yeah. <laughs> you have to throw really small balls. Pineapples would have been around at this point. Well, Not then, commonly. So would, so would coconut. So I just feel like but they wouldn't be... But we're rich. Mm. Not yeah, rich but enough. even the rich would, like, to, like they discard would, them. They would, like, yeah. loan yeah. pineapples. Uh, uh, yeah. Regardless, uh... Yeah, sorry, oh, yeah. Yes, the, the games are I wonderful. I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But to ensure that May Day happens and it, and it goes well, we Make really... a persuasion check with advantage because I believe that's part of your feat, isn't it? I think it is. Deception and persuasion. And Anything that's like charisma based. Wait, um. Meanwhile, I'm. Wait, am I doing deception or am I doing persuasion? Persuasion. persuasion. Okay, yeah. Does that mean I have a. Uh, no, it means you're proficient. Oh, do you have advantage in proficiency? 20. Not natural Some 20. Some people do sometimes. Okay, yes. That means yeah. I should get advantage. Uh, okay, Miss. Yeah, we'll get him down. I, I guess there are other things we could be doing. Yes, thank Car you. Rasters. Yeah. Okay. And okay. your hard work is not going to go unnoticed. Perhaps, but if you are very good boys and you do good work until the fate, and you don't have any more of this this silliness with the human scarecrows, perhaps I could put in a word for you and, and get you some some treats from Miss Sally's on the house for the at the fate. Of course. You promise, Miss. I promise. Oh, wow. And they immediately, all three of them start untying the boy from the stake. And, uh, Very what, good. What sort of treats are we going to get? Oh, well, Miss Sally's has all sorts. There's iced buns and strawberry tarts and and anything you could possibly like. And wow. you shall each have a free one. Rosalind, why are you rewarding oh, despicable behaviour? I've got them to take them down. Off. Off, and and you will not do it again, will you? I promise, Miss. The, the little boy that was tied up sort of stops halfway, 
to look back. And I'm out off. I head back to Seth. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Uh, during that time, you can see an older man making his way towards Seth and the tied up horses. Make an animal handling check. <laughs> God damn it! Ten. So now the horses are restless, but you hold on tight. Yeah, yeah. Big strong man. Cool. So I've tied up the horses and I. Uh, yeah, you could tie them up to a, a fence post. Yeah, I've tied them up to a fence post because I don't know what else to do with them. Um, make um, a. Hmm. Yeah, make a dexterity check. You've got four horse reins, and you're going to need yeah. two hands. That landed on a side. Eight. Cool. Um, yeah, it takes you a while. Um, definitely, horses start wandering around. You end up just like... As you're holding, as you're tying one horse up, the other three horses are wandering away. Mm. Um, so, as you're making your way back across the field, you have a, a horse tied up over there. Another one tied up a little bit further. Another one, so they're all separated down the... And Seth is at the last horse, so there's about 50 feet probably in between each horse now. Not <laughs> in sorry, in between yeah, every horse in total. There's 50 feet between the first and the last horse. Right, okay. Um, and um, yes, uh, Edward Young is uh, just getting to Seth at the fourth horse. Okay, I guess we had to meet him. Mm -hmm. I bow to um, Mr. Young. No. Can I help you? Um, Miss... Miss Penhallow is here. Just not here. Pen, right, what? Ah! I, I like, hurry over. Uh, good day, Mr. Young. Uh, good day, Miss... Miss, um... Miss, um... Sorry, um... So, yes, normally your brother comes, um... Yes, he does. I, I understand this is a little bit unconventional and I would never normally find myself here, but... The three of us have been placed in charge of overseeing organisations for May Day. Right. Oh, flowers. Yes, we've just been told to come and check that everything is going well with the flowers. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll come this way. I'll show you. We've got a whole, really? a whole field that we've been growing flowers in. I think everything's coming on oh, thank pretty you. well. Uh, yeah, right, right this we way. We would love this. to have a look. Uh, did you need someone to help you with the horses? Uh, I think that's for the best, yes. One second. He, he gives a really loud, obnoxious whistle which I won't do on camera, obviously. Um, and a couple of the young boys that you saw before come scurrying back towards their father's beckon. Rio's going to get bullied now. <laughs> no, Rio's coming with us. Why would you give me ideas? <laughs> um, yeah, so these two boys, as they as they come back, they're looking a little sheepish. Um, yes, Pa? Uh, um, sort these horses out and bring them back into the, the farmyard for me. I don't know why his boys keep changing like that, but... Uh, yeah, Pa, no problem. And they don't make eye contact with any of you, but they start running down and uh, untying the horses. And uh, yeah, yeah, come right this way, Miss, and I'll show you the uh, all the flowers we've been growing. We've got quite a few. Uh, we've been growing some of uh, these flowers and those flowers, Ch tulips. I feel like they grow in Amsterdam, and like <laughs> they're very fancy. So I've got some in, especially. Wonderful. Yeah, like, and we did the irrigation and whatever else it is that tulips need um and yeah uh we've got these flowers and those flowers just rhododendrons um yeah well they look as though they're coming along marvelously thank you miss they're um yeah we're real proud of them glad to be able to offer something for the fair yes your hard work will not go unappreciated the flowers were one of my favorite parts when i was a little girl oh I yeah i remember i remember I when you you won oh Bless you, miss. <laughs> Agatha, are you, are you all right being yes, here? Yes, it's fine. Just the hay fever, you know? Of course. Mm. The farm's no place for, yeah. a, for a lady with hay fever, I would say. Well, well we, we no, shan't no, stay no, too no, long. Perhaps we should I, I'm all right. speed things up for you. Yeah, I was saying, I remember when you, when you won the, um, won the, um... The May Queen. The May yes. Queen. Just when you were a wee one, that was Some of my fondest of childhood memories, yes. I'm sure I'm... Surprised you haven't won it again in the future, if you don't mind me saying well, so. Well, I'm a little old now. That's true, that's true. Didn't you say that someone of high esteem can't win May Queen? Th th that rule is in place now, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, th th yes. Oh, I think I had heard of such a rule. I'm only a boys myself, so like they don't enter the... Yes, I... Obviously. 
it was deemed unfair after. I think the young one would years. like to, but no, obviously. <laughs> well, uh, yes, perhaps Great in the future. Well, we can't. It's a boy, isn't he? Can't win the. It is the May Queen. May Queen. So. It's Queen. Yes. It's a wonderful it? tradition. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah. Is there a May Prince or a May King? I, I don't believe there ever has been. No, it's always been a... unfair, doesn't it? Well, perhaps in the future, that's if if we are entrusted again, that could be an inclusion we could work on. Sounds like a wonderful idea, Miss. Perhaps you could bring it up with uh, with the parish council. Yes, perhaps we will. Well, if you can assure us that all is well here and we needn't have any cause for concern, we can get out of your hair. I mean, if you're if you're happy with how the flowers look, yeah, we're going to harvest them next week. Wonderful. And bring them to the. To the village green. Yes. And uh, what day are they to be delivered? Uh, the day before. So Wonderful. That, uh, we want them to be as fresh as possible, obviously. Yes. Uh, once there's uh, some tents set up, I believe there's going to be an area for the flowers to be delivered to. Yes. And, um, why, well, I hesitate, no, normally your your brother comes, but the, um, the there is the matter of the, the bill, obviously. Yes, uh, Archibald will still be handling that, okay. of course. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Good. Um, will, will that be everything? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Happy to have um, to have helped. Yes. Thank you so much. Your help goes truly, truly valued. Oh, no problem, Miss. Uh, send my regards to Archibald. We will. Thank you. Boys, bring out the horses again. Uh, they leave the horses up to you. I, I help you Thank onto you. your horse. I get on my hands and knees again, so you can climb back onto your horse, and then um, I wait until you're on your horse. Okay. Um, so I bow to the people. It's, it's no. And then I he walks away. Very confused. And I climb onto my horse. Okay. Uh, are you holding his reins? Yeah. Why he's doing that? Okay. Just make a dex check. Okay. Fifteen. Yeah, you're up fine. Rolling very consistently in the mid to the mid. <laughs> okay, you start making your way to the next farm. The clock's farm, yes. Yeah, it's probably going to take you, I guess, about an hour because you've got to go Bloody quite yes. around the. Uh, Agatha, are you, are you sure the you're, you're quite all right? Oh, yes, I am quite fine. <laughs> Wonderful. Do let us know. We we. Would of course rest if you need. Of course. So the the um the Clark's farm is down near the quarry that your father owns. Um, it's a chalk quarry. So just um yeah south of the south of the village, north of the river, south east south east. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Just have to work out the compass points <laughs> in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, south east of the village. It takes about an hour. Um. So you make your way through the village. Anything you want to do on the way, or are you just heading straight through? Um, I just take a moment to thank uh, Miss Bronton again. Um, and I just want to just quickly just ask, like, um, how did I not get in trouble with Reginald? Because, I, like, he, re he said you requested me. And I wanted to thank you for that, but... We had audio issues, but we are back and we are going to take it back to just walking through the village on your horses. Riding. Riding, riding through the village. Yeah. So you're making your way through the village and I believe you were saying about wanting to do something. Oh, yes. You, oh, you were, yes. I was just thanking, I was thanking Miss Bronton, but also I think apologising because I'm being such an inconvenience to you and my job is to make your life easier and I'm literally doing the opposite of that. So it's a combination of like, thank you, um, but I'm sorry, uh, but thank you for allowing me to come out here, but I'm sorry because if I wasn't here, you wouldn't have to be helping me all the time. But thank you for letting um, Sir Beaumont know, like let him know that I can come out, but also sorry that I'm here. Okay. I want to bow, but you told me not to because I'm on, You're a on a horse. I am on a horse. Okay. You're welcome, I suppose. Thank you. 
I, right. I, I do like a like a head bow, like a. Right. Was that a good enough bow for you, Miss? I've told you that you don't need to bow to me. You have told me that, but I, I think I like bowing now. Right. Well, was it good for you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Cool. I ride in silence for the rest of the journey. Do you, do you want me to let go of your reins? That's a no. I'll I'll keep hold. Would be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, as you make your way through the uh, the market square, you pass the church. You can hear um, you can hear George playing on the um, on the organ. Playing with his organ. You can't. He is playing with his organ. Um, just some lovely Christian songs you'd recognise most. But of them. I roll my eyes, nevertheless, because I know <laughs> it is Uncle George. Uh, make your way south, out of the village. You pass your brother's mill uh, in the distance. You're not walking on the river. You can see it in the distance. You're welcome to stop there if you if you wish. Otherwise, you can keep heading down towards the farm. If anybody does require a rest, uh, I'm sure we shall be permitted to stop at my father's mill. I'm quite happy to carry on. And I um, am quite all right. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, Seth, are you? Oh, okay? Miss, it's not up to me. I'm I'm doing great, Miss. Okay. Uh, um, yes. Anything I can do to help? Well, if there's no objections, uh, shall we continue onwards? Onwards. So you eventually make your way to the farm, to the clerk's farm. Uh, it's a sprawling set of buildings um, with a large central area that has uh, a number of uh, farm things in, carts and ploughs and Chickens and horses, a couple of horses standing around, uh, a few busy people. Uh, Mr. Clark, you think, is Mr. Clark, an older man uh, wearing a little peaky cap, uh, notice, notices you and uh, starts heading towards you, you uh, all four of you. I get off my horse and then I help you off the horse. Thank first. you. I do make an. Do you make a, a dexterity check here and get off the horse for me? One. <sighs> um, How fast are my reflexes? Are you right next to him? Oh, you yes. are, are holding the reins. I'm holding the reins. So yeah. I'm like next um, to him while he's getting down. Yes. Make a, make a dexterity. Which one should I use? Mm. What feels right? Don't know. Green. A dex, mm -hmm. just a straight dex. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven's enough. You catch him. Crap my ankle as I fall. <laughs> How do you catch him? Probably by like this bit of the shirt. Yeah. Just like... in my head, it was like he just like falls into your arms like Scooby Doo. <laughs> I haven't got off my horse yet. Oh. I've had to like my let go of his reins and grab onto him. So let's hope that the horse okay. doesn't run away. Cool. I ch get choked slightly, I guess, because you grab it like that, and, oh. um, and I look at you and I apologise, and then I continue to climb off the horse. I just like lower you down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like basically like a dog from the collar of the scarf. Just, yeah. uh, and then I go to help you off your horse. Thank you. I sigh once again as I get my hands and knees to let you climb down from your horse. Thank you. Um, and then I assume you're already, off, you're already off your horse. And then I grab the four horses again and um, I look for somewhere to tie them up. Uh, yeah, there's a fence, fence post. Cool. So I go to tie up the horses. I'll go with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll, I'll hold on to three horses while he does one and then two horses while he does one. Okay. Uh, as you're all doing that, uh, Mr. Clark arrives, uh, cap in hand. Oh, Miss Penhallow. Mr. Clark. What a pleasure. Yes, good afternoon. I hope you're well. Oh, v very well, thank you. Uh, what can I do for you? I know this is a little unusual to have three young ladies visiting your farm. Oh, but it's, uh, it's a pleasure. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, it seems we have been given responsibilities in overseeing the May Day celebrations. Uh, so we just thought we'd come down to check that your flowers are, are going well. 
Uh, yes, as far as I know. I left my wife in charge of that. Shall I get her for you? Uh, yes, please. That would be lovely. No problem. Thank you. One moment, please. Uh, and he dashes off. Oh, oh, wait. He stops. Like, uh, come this way. Come this way. Uh, and you sort of head towards Have the... Have we finished tying up the horses? Sure. Uh, yeah. He, he, so he leads you to the sort of main... Um, I want to say square, but like yard of the of the farm. And he heads into uh, heads into the house and... Uh, a, a blonde, rotund, curly-haired, short woman uh, in an apron uh, comes out to greet you. Oh, Miss Miss Rosalind Penhallow. What a pleasure. Oh, Mrs. Clark, it is lovely to see you. Uh, thank, th thank you for visiting our humble farm. Oh. We're, we're keeping it in, in good condition for you. I'm sure you are. Uh, I'm not sure if you've been acquainted before, but uh, my relatives, Miss Agatha Pentecost... And Miss Talia Brunton? A pleasure, a pleasure. And uh, yours. Thank, thank you. Oh, we've been entrusted uh, to oversee some of the May Day preparations. Oh, the flowers? Yes, uh, we would love to, to have a look if, if Oh, that's yes, permitted. yes, come this way. They've been, I've been caring for myself all, all through the spring. That's and, so uh, lovely to hear. And they're just coming into bloom now. I think in a, in a week's time they should be... Perfect for the fair. Wonderful. Come this way. They're just oh, they're in a field behind the house. Uh, she she leads you down. Uh, kicks a couple of chickens out of the way as she's going. Um, around the back of the house, uh, there's a small garden, and then behind the garden, there's a a bit of the field has been sort of um, uh, cordoned off, uh, and there's a sort of um, rope and string has been tied up over the top to try and keep birds and other animals away and out of this uh, flower bed of of various coloured flowers, very beautiful looking. You can see most of them are about to uh, bud and bloom very soon. Oh, Mrs. Clark, are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, You Ms. should Penhall. be very proud. Oh, I mean, pride comes before a fall, but yes, um, I am a little bit proud. Yes, they are very pretty. Oh my goodness! Flowers. Can I? Can Flowers. I offer you a? She gives you a dirty handkerchief. Oh no! It, oh, it's, it's just fine. It's no problem if you. Uh, no, I I am sure oh. she will be be all right. Okay. Uh, and uh, the delivery of the flowers is due uh, also the day before. The yes, festival? my yes, the day before. Uh, my son, my sons will bring it down, Lovely. and um, they'll all be bunched up and ready to decorate the fair. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Was there anything else we could... Oh, wait, wait, wait right here. I've got something for you, Miss Penhallow. For me? Absolutely. She, uh, she dashes into the, into the house uh, and comes out with a, uh, a freshly baked loaf of bread. It's freshly baked. You could... Would you, would you like it? Oh, Mrs Clark, that's so kind. But, uh, is this not needed by your family? We have plenty. And you provide so far, so much for us with this farm. So it's the least we could do. Well, if you are quite sure, then of course we will happily accept. It's sh yes. So I, I take the cake and I'm... Uh, loaf bread. of bread. Loaf of bread and I'm kind of looking at it because it's probably like the best. Like it smells great, I, I assume. Yeah, and it's wrapped in a... It's wrapped in a thing. Well, it's not wrapped, it's open because she was displaying yeah, to you, yeah, but, but you're holding it now by the... Yeah, the, the thing and rewrap it. But I want to say rags. It's not rags, but you know. Cloths. Cloths, yeah. that's the word. Rewrap and then I put it in the bag I've got. Sure. Let it breathe, it's fresh out, it still needs to... Uh... So I take it back out and then I hold it. As in unwrap it, miss, or just... Just like give this. it space to breathe, yeah. Straight out the oven. Up. He's new. I see. I bow. You... We don't generally bow to each other. I bow again. <laughs> well, it smells delightful, Mrs. Clark. Thank you. I'm known for my but It's a secret recipe. Well, we feel very honoured to have been gifted this, don't we? Oh, no, it's an honour to have you visit our farm. Oh, well, thank you. You are too too kind. And your efforts for the May Day Festival are truly highly valued and appreciated. Oh, thank you so much for saying so, miss. Uh, was there anything else we could do for you while you're here? I, I don't believe so. I think that will be all. We shall let you get back to your work and your, oh. your day. Well, thank you kindly. Let me lead you back to your horses. Oh, thank you. Uh, she leads you... 
back round down the side of the house into the courtyard uh, where your horses are tied up and waiting for you. And she just patiently waits to work goodbye as you're undoing your horses. And... I'm sure that can go in the bag now. Just leave the bag open so it can breathe. Put it in the bag and I open up the bag and then I put it on the floor just so I can pick it back up while I help. Uh, first, Miss Penhallow. Thank you. Hands and knees to Miss Pentecost to get Thank on her horse. I'm holding the reins and waiting for you to get on. I run and grab my bag and then I climb onto my horse. Then I get on my horse. I need another one for me. Oh my good this time. You get in there. Okay, cool. Mm. I'm getting better. Cool. Okay, and you start making your way back to Penhallow Hall. Yes. And that's where we'll take a break. Nice. Okay.
Welcome back. Again. Always so awkward. Uh, yeah. So where were we? Uh, heading back to Penhallow Hall. Okay. You arrive safely without incident back at Penhallow Hall. Some stable hands come and retrieve the horses from you. Um, and the afternoon is your own. It's about 4 p.m. Okay, so I am going to uh, thank the stable boys, thank Seth again, uh, and head straight back up to my bedroom mm -hmm. uh, where I have a birthday present to organise. Uh, so I'm going to go and find the dress that Agatha had borrowed and point it out for the spring ball, mm -hmm. lay it out really nicely, um, sort of arrange it with some like dried flowers that I have just in my room. Um, and I find a piece of fabric from... Uh, like a stash of fabric bolts that Rosalind just has um, because anytime I'm working on a new dress or I'm having a dress redone I like to keep scrap fabric in case it might come back into trend or in case I could use it for like a different dress or something later down the line and I pick like a really nice piece of fabric that's like I think is pretty but is also plain enough that Agatha won't find it like offensive uh, and I wrap the dress nicely I tie it with the like floral ribbon that I bought in the shop the other day and that's like his birthday present. So that's what Rosalind's doing for like mm. a little bit. Okay. Who else is um, doing what? I am in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I sit down, take a breath, my hand in my pocket and take out the code. And I start going over it again. I'm looking and looking and then I get up go to a desk that I assume is mm -hmm. in the room, uh, get a piece of paper and um, some uh, writing, a writing feather, a quill, mm -hmm. and I start thinking of all the possible, uh, po what, what all the possibilities for mm -hmm. each symbol is. And that is what I spend my time doing and I am engrossed. Okay, um, so you spend maybe, what, an hour on that? Yeah. Uh, make a... Make a um... Investigation check. Is that thirteen out of four is seventeen. Okay. Mm. Okay. Cool. That is all I'm doing so far. I am also in my room after I've bid goodwill to have a good day. I do three battles um, in a row because I've kept on tally how many battles I owe you, <laughs> and then I do a fourth battle. That was so many bows in a row that Talia feels the need to... You're bowing to me, so I bow again. I like curtsy. <laughs> you curtsy. Um, yes, and I walk away. And I go up to my room and I pull out the two books that I bought for Agatha. And mm -hmm. I read the blurbs of both of them. Spend like 15 minutes trying to figure out which one I'm going to use. Realise that I can't decide, put them on top of each other and then like call to, do I have like a bell to like call for someone because I mm -hmm. don't have anything to wrap it in. So I call on a thing mm -hmm. for a maid. Okay. Yeah. A maid comes and knocks on your door politely. Hi. Uh, yes, ma'am. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes. I need wrapping things. Wrapping paper. Yes. Uh, right away. Uh, ribbon. Yes, blue. Blue ribbon. Yes, I'll see what but I can But just like a plain blue. I'll see what I can find, ma'am. Or yellow. Blue or yellow. Yes. Or okay. both. I'll bring I'll bring both. If I can find both, I'll bring yes, I'll bring But not too much trouble. Just anything that's not too much. For okay. you. Yes. Yes. I mean okay. Uh and she scurries off to go and find some paper. She'll be back in about fifteen minutes. I start reading the book that I took for myself. Okay, cool. While I wait for her. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, about 15 minutes later then she comes back uh, with uh, both blue and yellow ribbons and some brown paper that you can use to wrap. Cool. I wrap it up, tie the ribbons on it. Mm -hmm. Not amazingly. Sure. Um, and I just place them on my desk and... Realise that I haven't written in my journal for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go drop the bread off in the kitchen. <laughs> um, I take it to the kitchen and then I find uh, Reginald to see what other duties I can do for the day. Sure. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you go and speak to Reginald. 
Um, Seth? I'm, I'm back, sir. I do a little bow. Um, Trust the journey was uneventful? Completely uneventful. There was nothing that went wrong whatsoever. We, they, the, the ladies of the house um, organised the Mayfair beautifully, and I helped. I'll make a deception check. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's a one. And how was the horse riding? <laughs> the ladies rode excellently. <laughs> I wasn't asking about the ladies. Oh, I was on a horse and I didn't fall off the horse once. Yes, I saw. <laughs> I apologise. So we will see about getting you some riding lessons, I think, before you kill yourself. Um... If you think that's necessary, sir. I I think we... I'm concerned you don't think it's necessary. <laughs> oh, no, I, I... It is very necessary. You're completely right, and I, I bow again. We are on the same page, then. Yes, sir. Um, is there anything else I can do for the rest of the day? Um, yes. Um, run along and see Frederick. I believe he's back now. Um, he wants to Archibald. do some... Archibald. Sorry, Archibald. Archibald, um, yes. Uh, I believe he wants to organise some of Agatha's birthday celebrations tomorrow. He will probably have some errands for you. Of course, of course, I'll get on that right away. Thank you. Bow, and then I run off uh, trip slightly and then go to find Archibald. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, since I've uh, finished Agatha's present, mm -hmm. I'm going to go down out to the garden uh, and pick some flowers. I know what flowers uh, Georgiana will allow me to pick and which ones she won't, so mm -hmm. I am very careful with that. And I just select um, like a handful of really nice ones uh, mm -hmm. to like leave around uh, for Agatha's birthday tomorrow, mm -hmm. so that um, whatever party her and Archibald have planned isn't as drab as it could be. <laughs> and I, when I come in, I start like you know, I I get a vase and I start arranging them nicely. Mm -hmm. Uh do you have any evening activities in mind this evening? Well, I'm going to take a lot of time to get changed for dinner because that's what I do every day, is I mm -hmm. have a new outfit for dinner. Okay. I don't change. I also don't change for dinner. Okay. <coughs> dinner is dinner. Um, you're served well. No sound of Seth. Um, but yeah, you, you head through dinner. You have pleasant, quiet conversation. Uh, and Who then, else is there? Um, the whole family. Archibald, Edwin, Edwin, Rosalind. Yeah. And you all head to bed, I guess. I mm -hmm. take one final look at the code before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. Realise I am extremely tired, so I open a page in my Bible say a prayer before promptly going to bed. Mm -hmm. I still have a lot of anxiety that I didn't realise I had until dinner was over and I could sort of switch off the personality a little bit once mm -hmm. I was back by myself in my room. So I don't go to bed immediately. I try to read some more of Persuasion and I can't. So I put it down and I try and sleep and I don't succeed very well. Mm-hmm. I go back to my room, make sure that I finished up all of my writing. Once again, go to Rosalind. Wanting to apologise again. But I think better of it and I go back to my room and I read another page of my book and I sleep restlessly. Mm -hmm. Seth, you spend your evening boiling water. <laughs> oh, you know what, honestly, I can do that. Transferring it into uh, cork sealed jugs and placing them down in the cellar to cool. Okay, yeah, that's that's a job that I do. Yes, I do it as well as I possibly can. And then I'm allowed to sleep afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So yes. I do that for many hours and then I sleep. Okay, the... You're woken by the sounds of the morning. Uh, there is a bell. If you haven't already been woken by the sounds of uh, cockles and other <laughs> countryside animals, the birds singing and whatnot. 
The bell invites you to breakfast. The bell invites me to stop. <laughs> Uh, Giorgiano and Archibald and Edwin are already there, uh, and they've set out a lovely breakfast for the birthday girl. Uh, there is cheese and fruit, and a little toast. I sit down at the table, um, I smile meekly at everyone who does wish me a happy birthday, and I politely take uh, a slice of bread, have a smattering of butter and very slowly eat that. Happy 18th birthday, dear. Thank um, you. A letter arrived for you yesterday. I kept it for today. A letter? From whom? I believe it's from your mother. My mother? Wow. Thank you. It's in front of you. <laughs> My dearest Agatha Grace and peace be on to you on this day, the anniversary of your birth. I pen this letter with a heart filled with fervent prayers for your well-being and the salvation of your soul. As I reflect upon the passing of another year in your life, my thoughts turn towards the eternal and the importance of your spiritual journal. Uh, journey. As you mature, my dear child, I pray that you will grow ever closer to the divine purpose set before you. Remember that each passing year brings with it the opportunity for growth in faith, wisdom and virtue. Let your heart be receptive to the teachings of scripture and may the Holy Spirit guide your steps along the narrow path that leads to eternal life. On this day, I shall beseech the heavens for an abundance of blessings to descend upon your path. May your mind be steadfast your heart pure and your actions honourable. It is my earnest desire that you remain resolute in your commitment to living a life that glorifies God, for this is the true measure of success and fulfilment. As you navigate the challenges and temptations that this world presents, remember that you are never alone. The Lord's grace is abundant and his love knows no bounds. Seek solace in prayer, find strength in scripture, and let the light of Christ guide your every step. On the day of your birth, my dear daughter, I implore you to reflect upon the brevity of life and eternal weight of our choices. Let us in unison dedicate ourselves anew to the pursuit of righteousness and the ultimate goal of salvation. Yours in faith and love, Mother. I'm sure your mother was very pleased to know you're being looked after here. She is a very pious woman. Yes, she is. I pick up my toast and I continue eating. I brought some more flowers. I, I thought it might be nice. Happy birthday, Agatha. I Thank you. I'm glad you're here with us. I know this is a difficult time for all of us with our fathers being gone, but I am glad to have you back in our home. Please continue your breakfasts. Archibald, I trust you have this evening's plans well in hand. Uh, yes, Mother. I do. I think there'll be a... Yes, I think I think uh, Agatha will find the evening's entertainment very pleasing. Might we ask who's been invited? I mean, obviously yourselves. Is that all? 
Was there meant to be more? No, no, that's that's good, right? Yes. I I was just wondering. I did not believe you would enjoy a large celebration. No, no, of course not. You, everyone here at this table is more than enough. I glance at Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> And we're, we're sure there's to be no dancing tonight. Oh, no. Well, as you wish. <sighs> I may dance anyway. And you just try and stop me. Very well. She may try. <laughs> <laughs> she may. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess continue breakfast slightly awkwardly, I get the sense. Yeah. I feel like the the letter perhaps didn't. Oh, were, were there any other letters arrived recently? From London perhaps? Um, no, that was the only one that arrived yesterday in the weekly mail, surprisingly. But, um, yes, that was the only one. I'm sure your father will return your letters soon. Yes. He must simply be very busy. Yes, and um, Talia, I'm sure your father will write as well. I know he normally writes weekly. The mail can be delayed. I'm sure there just wasn't a postal service around. Yes, it's most likely. Different postal services, different areas. So. Well, go about your days. You have the day to yourselves, of course. Edwin, I wondered if you'd like to go for a walk. A walk? Perhaps. Sounds lovely. Should we attend to the gardens? Yes. Wonderful. When would you like to go? As soon as you're done, I suppose. I'm ready when you are. Oh, okay then. And he picks up a couple of uh, extra bits of bread. Let's go. The water, the... the, the Spring air seems lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, he offers his arm and escorts you out of the room into the hallway and you can lead him into the gardens, I guess. Yes. I've been trying to... It's never been the right moment. Uh, we, there was always other people around. I, I thought better to wait, but... Mm -hmm. I'm still terribly confused about what I saw and I... I... Ah. Yes, perhaps we'll uh, take a longer walk. Yes. Right, and I'll just pop to the kitchens. Yes. 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 I'll meet you outside. Uh, and he heads off towards the kitchens. And he's coming to... back with wine. <laughs> he's coming back with a bottle of wine, yeah. Cool. <laughs> perhaps this might make Agatha's party more bearable as well. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. They will be dancing, won't they? You'll dance with me. Someone must dance with me. It, we shall see. They boiled water all I night. I had poor Seth was in the kitchens all night. Let's walk. Yes. Uh, and you slowly walk together through the gardens, the extensive, extensive gardens that probably are about four to five hundred metres in length to get down to the end. Um, Rosalind is somewhere gardens. in the gardens at mm -hmm. some point, okay. <laughs> just uh, making more flower arrangements for tonight. Sure. We yeah, have sure. gone far, far, far away. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have retired to my bedroom. Okay. Uh, down at the bottom of the garden, there is a, um, I forget the word, but like one of those seats with like flowers that goes over the top oh, and yeah. stuff. Uh, and you, uh, you both take a seat there. Uh, and he sits back, pops a cork on the wine. Pulls out the two. No, he doesn't even have glasses. Just takes a swig and like, you're gonna need this. What do you know? <laughs> I I told you all all that I know. Which was. You know nothing. Yes. Right. And right. I'm a little confused because. Um, you said how babies are made, and I thought that was a man and a woman, and it's not? <laughs> yes, that's how babies are made. 
Right. But, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. Sometimes you don't have to be with someone of the opposite sex. And why? Because it's fun. <laughs> Can I ask everyone else to leave? Yeah. Fuck's sake! <laughs> I want to know an... what he says. This is an outrage. I'm storming out. This is an I outrage. I want to know. I don't even have to. It's just fun. Hmm. I kind of mean. After mess, mess. <sighs> <laughs> right. And who, who do you w do it with? Me? No, um, anyone who... Will... Anyone is the answer, yeah. Just it's for just... fun. You can do it for fun. You have to be careful if you're doing it with a woman, but yeah. I Partly. thought it was for people that you loved. I thought if it was... I mean, I... I love them. In a way. And how do you know when you love someone? Oh, well that's a... That's a different question. Love and... And does that have to be just a man and a woman as well? Or can that be for anyone? I mean, I've... I've known people that have... Shared the same. Right. It's... It happens behind... People don't talk about it, but... Why? Because we have to keep up appearances, dear. But... It's an open secret. Everybody... Everyone's doing it. Everyone. We just... Hmm. Oops. Almost everyone. It certainly feels like everyone the way in London. But, um... We just don't talk about it. If you don't talk about it, you can do what you want. Or at least, at least the... The men can. But... I, I heard of a woman up north, and, uh... She was interesting, and had... Friends, shall we say. Right. And it's... It looked... Kind of like... If a kiss was more. <laughs> that is an interesting way of putting it. Yes, it certainly starts with kissing. Usually. Depending. Don't tend to kiss. No, you don't need to know that. Right. Maybe... No. Um, and I... Never kiss a whore. That's what they say. And if I, if I do marry Mr. Jefferson, I will also have to do that. Yes, I would imagine that would be quite important to him. Right. He doesn't exactly seem like a man that has acquired tastes. I think, I suspect he would be quite gentle with you. It can be a lot of fun. If you like them. Yeah. You don't have to like someone to be attracted to them. And how do you know if you're attracted to someone? <laughs> oh, um, well, you know, your body responds. Like you can't breathe around them properly? Sure. Like they make your heart go too fast? Yes. Yes. That sounds like... Sounds like love at first sight. Very romantic. I'm sure it would be. Was there someone you had in mind? Is it Colin? Does he make your heart flutter when you see him? Tell me everything. No, it's quite alright. Very well, you keep your secrets. Like you said, if we say nothing, then we can do what we want. Basically, you just don't get caught. 
Certainly don't let my mother catch you. Yes. But... If you're... If you are engaging in such things... Oh, I'm not. Not at all. I... Just don't get pregnant. Right. And how do I do that? Well, I'm not. Of course I'm not. Because... Well, I usually just pull out. Before I, you know. And then, over the... Right, you, you know nothing. Okay, so... <laughs> when a man... Loves a woman, or another man, or maybe they don't love each other at all. This or is all very just confusing. Really, really horny. Um, and I start drinking. Good idea. Um, yes. So you know what an erection is? No. Right. Right. Right to basics. Okay, so the penis. Yes, I read in books, but okay. So, if if it was not two men, because we don't have those, then what? Mm. Well, then you use other things. You have hands, do you not? You have a mouth, do you not? Right. And you know where? Yes. You put. Okay. Um, Your mouth. And I drink more. Okay. I think that's enough, actually. I just... Right. I just... Uh, I thought... I thought it always had to be a man and a woman, and now... It's never had to be. We just... We pretend. We pretend for appearance's sake. A lot of people are doing it. They're just so up themselves that they refuse to admit that it's happening. And if I... Hell, the king is doing it. That's what I heard. And if I... was like you... wouldn't it be unfair to marry him? Well, I mean, we all have to look at our, um... Building a family, you will inevitably, surely, have to marry a man. You're home. What happens when your father's gone? It would be the sensible thing. I mean, there was certainly, I could imagine, I could find you a man that would not be interested in... I don't know. I don't... Your father seems to have selected someone for you already. Um, and he is lovely. Yes, I've, we've, we've, I've spent some time with him now. And you don't know anything more about him? No more than the polite conversation that we've enjoyed. I know he's... I, I don't think he shares my proclivities. Right. Okay. It'll be okay. Yes. How much of the wine is left? Half a bottle. I drank half of that. Okay. He drinks the other half. Thank you. Talia, you can talk to me about these things. Yes. I'm not always fun and games. It can be serious. Be careful. Shall we go then? Yes, let's. Let's. And you both stand up a little wobbly as the wine's gone straight to your heads. Uh, and you shake off these feelings as you walk back through the gardens. Uh, the silliness returns. Uh, he picks you a flower for your hair. Um, and yeah, you head back. 
I don't know if you passed anyone in the way, but should we bring them back in? Yes. We'll just... So badly want to know what just happened. Okay. We're walking back through the garden. Don't know where you are. I'm in my room. I'm in the garden. I'm just like arranging flowers. We mm. probably passed you. I just sort of see, but I'm not interested in what you and my brother are doing. So I just keep arranging my flowers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm very happy doing so. Cool. Um okay, so from the gardens you can sort of see the um see the driveway that comes towards the house. Uh, make perception checks. Everyone who's in the garden? Yes. Oh, I didn't check which time. No. One. Okay. Should have yeah. used the other one. So while you're busy picking flowers, you see a elaborate black coach with gold trimmings um, and some four fine horses uh, coming up towards the mansion. It's not something you've. S it's a very fancy looking coach. You've not seen it before. It's interesting. I uh, I gather up all the flowers that I've mm -hmm. picked, and I sort of hasten back to the the entrance of the house. Mm -hmm. Are there people there? Is there anyone I can see? Um, I mean, just the doorman and stuff is at the door at the moment. Okay. You've, you've you've beat the carriage back. Nice. It wasn't moving yeah. very fast. Okay. Well, um, I I turn to the doorman. And, mm -hmm. Oh, are we expecting visitors? Not that I'm aware, ma'am. Oh. He opens the door. I guess we are. He opens the doors fully and steps out and uh, waits for them to pull up. So this four, four black horses, black gold trimmed carriage pulls up, um, and a man steps out, puts on his very tall top hat, black suit, black tie, um, looking very uh, serious and. Elegant in a way, very interesting. Um, uh, Do I recognise he... him? No. Uh, he comes to the the doorman, approaches him, um, and you overhear them say, so, um, "Good afternoon, sir. Is anything? We weren't expecting company." Uh, and the man is um. No, it's uh yeah. So we've it's an. Unexpected call, I understand. I'm here to speak with Archibald Penhallow. I, I'm just going to politely mm -hmm. uh, join. Uh, good day, sir. Good day. Uh, I heard you were in need of my brother. Uh, my name is Rosalind Penhallow. Oh, yes. I, I can send for him if you would like. Uh, yes. It, Please do. Forgive me for my uh, impudence. Uh, might I inquire if, if all is all is well? Uh, you may not. Of, of course. A... Uh, sorry, sir. I, I shall fetch my brother. It is a point. business matter. Oh, well then I shall, I shall stay out of it. I shall fetch you, my brother. Mm -hmm. I very quickly head okay. inside with all my flowers still. Sure, sure. Are you, gonna, are you fetching your brother? Uh, yes, I'm okay. going to go myself. Okay, uh, I guess you check his office, see yeah. is there. It's easy. Brother? Uh, yes, to his sister. It, there's a carriage that's just arrived. Oh. Interesting. It, it's an unexpected call, but it looks. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see from the window. It's it's gold trimmed and, and very. And uh, it's a it's a white's carriage. Interesting. White. Perhaps something from father. He I'll said it was it was on business. Yes. I will go and speak with him. Thank you. Uh, and he heads downstairs. Uh, I, I know I'm not allowed to join in on the conversation, mm -hmm. so I'm going to try and find a place where I can like see and hear them. Okay. Make a stealth check. Okay. Uh, 18. Okay. Yeah, you managed to just... I'm going to put all my flowers down mm -hmm. before I do this. It's not common, but you let yourself into one of the staff passageways uh, that gets you... Okay, I'm taking a... one of my flowers with me for comfort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and you can get a little bit closer to the, to the main doors than you would normally be able to by okay. just hiding it in the corridor. Nice. Um, okay, so the... Two of them there. Um, it's a delicate matter, sir, you hear the man say. Uh, and um, Archibald says, yes, of course. Uh, do you need to, shall we speak in my office then? Uh, he says, it actually won't take that long, really. Um, we've had trouble with the mail, so I've come here directly because... 
We have a number of unpaid bills from your father. And we, we've let it go for some time as he is um, usually quite good. But if he's going to rent out rooms at White's long term, not be there and not pay bills, it's not exactly what we're looking for in an arrangement. Um, and he's not here, I presume. Um, no, I mean, I, I thought he was staying at White's. Unpaid bills, you say? Yes, I'm, I'm very sorry about that. Um, but if you are happy to write a note, we can settle the bills now and continue the arrangements. We haven't been able to get in contact with your father any other way, so I felt visiting would be much more appropriate since it is quite a sum that he owes us. I see. Well, of, of course, we would not want unpaid bills hanging over our heads. Um, yes, a note. I will write you. And you, you haven't seen my father, you say? Uh, no, sir. Um, yes, we had... No, he said that... There's, well, he does not communicate with us well, but everything seemed fine, and then the men simply stopped returning in the evenings, which was quite strange, but, you know, people rent rooms for long terms, and, well, after three weeks, we felt that perhaps something was more amiss. Uh, we have sent letters, uh, and we didn't receive responses, so, yes, I came here myself. Um... But as I said, I'm happy to take a, a note and we'll settle the matter that way. Otherwise, well, I, I, I hate to uh, come down hard, but we'll simply return their, their belongings to their respective homes, I imagine, and leave you with the bill. Uh, no, um, no, we won't have that. I will wait right here. Uh, how much? Uh, 300 pounds, sir. I see. It's quite a... Some of that makes sense, I suppose. Oh, wait right here. And um, he turns around and you can hear him heading up the stairs back to his office where presumably he's going to write some sort of note. Is there anything you're going to do in the meantime? I, I'm just going to stay in my hallway okay. and... About three minutes later, that for a bit. Uh, you can hear his steps coming a bit down, quite slow on the steps. Um, he's certainly not rushing. Uh, yes, um, yes, here was a, here was a note for 300 then. Um, and when was the last time you saw my father? As, as I said, sir, it was about three weeks ago. Um, everything had been fine up until then, I believe. He and his associates went out late for the evening, I believe on the, what day is it today? It's the 20th, isn't it? Um, the, tw the 21st, yes. Um, so perhaps on the, on the 3rd, I believe. The night of the 3rd, I believe, was the night we last saw them. Um, yes, they went, oh, we don't obviously inquire the whereabouts of our guests and they did not return but they did leave their belongings uh, we have not rifled through them of course um, but they are there waiting for your father's return um, yes it's most untoward of this and I, I do apologize for having to to come in person but with the with the mail being delayed again, I just felt it was best for such a sum, um, since your father is usually a keen bill payer. Um, yes, yes, thank you. Um, perhaps I will return to London with you, if that would be well. I can, of course, accommodate extra payment for the carriage. Um, yes, as you wish, sir, that, that's fine. I came by myself, so... It's not a problem. Um, 
Yes, okay, very well. If you could, if you would not mind waiting perhaps um, just half an hour and I will get myself ready and I will return with London, return to London with you if that's okay. Uh, yes, sir, I'll, I'll wait in the, uh, I'll wait in the carriage. No, no, please come in. Um, I will have servants give you food and drink if you need. Um, please come this way. Uh, and he, uh, the doorman who's waiting inside, he signals for him to take him to the drawing room where they can wait uh, and serve food and stuff. You hear them, you hear their footsteps move away. Yes, is there, so can I get out now without being seen? Mm -hmm. okay. Seems quite. So I gather up all my flowers mm -hmm. and I leave my little hiding place and I am now standing in the open doorway just staring out at the garden and not really knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. How long did that take? Am I back inside yet or are we still out in the garden? We're outside, yeah. Well, no, so you're, you're back, so yeah. Um, I'm in my bedroom. Um, I am on my bed furiously flicking through the pages but not actually reading anything and I am crying. Uh, I'm in my room writing in my journal going over the conversation that I just had while still feeling slightly dizzy from wine. Okay, I'm gonna sort of look at this point I'm really in a very odd state of, of not understanding what I've just heard mm -hmm. um, and not it not feeling real because I've only heard it through a hallway. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to sort of wander through the house um, and hope that somebody crosses my path or there's somebody that's going to talk to me or do something. And I don't think there is. I feel like everyone's occupied with things. But I, I want to talk to my mother, but I don't because I don't know if she's been told yet and it can't come from me. Mm -hmm. So... I just sort of walk awkwardly around the house, holding my flower. Yep, you pass various staff members who stop and uh, let you walk past. They usually greet you with a, with a miss or a, or a lady, that sort of stuff. And I, I smile at all of them, but it's mm -hmm. just a little bit off. Okay. So I guess about half an hour later... Um, uh, Archibald knocks on Agatha's room. My face. Yes, come in. Uh, Agatha, I'm terribly sorry, but um, it seems I'm going to have to make an impromptu trip to London this evening. Um, I, I, I hate to spoil your birthday celebrations. But I've made all the arrangements, and I'm sure things will go wonderfully, but unfortunately something's come up that just can't wait, and I will have to be gone. I'm sure I'll be back in the morning, but unfortunately I won't be here to celebrate this evening. I understand. Um, well, I will... I shall be thinking of you. Oh, no, I shall be thinking of you. And I do hope you have a wonderful celebration. I actually have a small gift for you um, that our mother will give you this evening. Thank you. Um, I've had such a lovely day so far. I, it will be a shame to miss you, but, well. Yes, these things do happen, unfortunately. Business is as it is. Well, have a wonderful evening, and I shall see you upon the morrow. Thank you. Uh, he closes the door and leaves. Um, he heads downstairs. Um, none of you see this. Uh, he gets into the carriage with the with the man that arrived, and they leave. I ring for someone to come up to me. Mm -hmm. Sure. Someone comes. Small girl. Could I possibly get a coffee or something? Um, yes ma'am, I think we've got some coffee. Great, I'll be right back. She rushes off and goes through the pantry to find some coffee to make you one. 
uh, returns about 10 minutes later. Thank you. Is there anything else? No, did, did you want something? What? what? No. That's all. Okay, thank you, miss. Yes. Bye. I should get some more pastries. Drink your coffee. Uh, so a bell goes to greet, uh, to let you all know that dinner will be ready. I've completely forgotten to get changed. So I quickly run upstairs and mm -hmm. um, sort myself out in a much less meticulous fashion than I normally do. Mm -hmm. But I have still changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you all head down to the dining room. Okay, um, Georgiana is up there, yes. Do I notice that she is less meticulously dressed than usual? You tell me. Nine? Does she? No. Cool, okay, you get down to the dining room. Georgiana's sitting at the head of the table. Ah, oh, wonderful. You've joined us. Please be seated. Happy birthday again, Agatha. Yes, yes happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. And gifts, shall we? Yes, yes, of course. I've left mine in my room. Oh, run along, dear. Sorry. I, I fear I've, I've done the same. Forgive me. <sighs> I've, uh, I won't be a moment, Mother. And very quickly, whiz up. <laughs> Parcel. Do we awkwardly cross each other on the landing? Yeah. Uh, Georgiana just sits in silence at the table. And then we come. Smiling politely at Agatha. I Your enter. would have been here, I'm sure, <laughs> if she was not otherwise yes, I, engaged. I'm certain. I'm having a wonderful day. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm sorry that Archibald couldn't stay. Oh no, it's okay. He was, you, you know men. <laughs> business. <laughs> yes, he was so looking forward to seeing the enjoyment of your on your face from his arrangements, he said. Well, He's I shall... He's taken quite a shine to you, I believe. Yes. I... I shall tell him about everything in, in the morning. Good, yes. He, I'm sure he'll be back in the morning. Thank you. Ah. Mother, Agatha. Yes. Hello. Should I? Yes. Oh, oh yes, mother. Um, happy birthday. It's it's not much, but if and if it needs it needs altering or changing in any way, I am happy to to oversee that for you. I unwrap the ribbon. Hmm. Yep. Unwrap the cloth. Mm -hmm. And I see a familiar shade of blue. I very gingerly brush it with my finger. I recognise the material anyway. Uh, straight away. <laughs> and then uh, I slowly unfold the rest of the paper and I pick it up, but I do not unfold it. And I go, the dress from the ball. Well, it suited you so nicely. It seemed a waste for me to keep it. Thank you, Rosie. It was the least I could do. And as I said, if you require any changes or wish anything added or taken away, do let me know and I shall have Mrs Green write on that for you. Thank you. And I put it to my side. Me now? I can wait till yeah, after- please. Go right ahead. Well, now I feel like I should wait. I'll, I'll go after you. Very well. Um, and she passes down a small little box that you can open. I open mm -hmm. up the box. And you find uh, two delicate pearl earrings uh, with sort of uh, three pearls on each one. They're not extravagant. I know you prefer a more elegant... Look, I do yes. hope you enjoy them. They are so pretty. I, <sighs> I shall cherish them. I will wear them tomorrow. As with the dress, I shall wear it tomorrow. You will look beautiful. 
Thank you. And then... And, sorry, these are from Archibald. No, those were from me. Those... Oh, sorry. Uh, Archibald has given you this. And it's another wrapped parcel. You unwrap it. And it's... It's a book. It's a book on... Um, sound living and healthy exercises. <laughs> That's fun. Oh. Wow, sound living and... Healthy exercises. Well, I shall read this tonight and I'm sure I will find something pleasing inside it. <laughs> <laughs> and Good. I also place that to the side. Is Edwin there? Am I waiting for him to? forgot about Edwin. <laughs> oh, fuck. Has Edwin got me something? <laughs> Edwin's got you. <laughs> Edwin's not there though. Um, he he comes in late. So oh, sorry, sorry, I'm late, everybody. I heard the bell and I was like, oh my goodness, I have not got a gift wrapped for her. Obviously, oh. I had a gift. It was not wrapped. A gift was not necessary. Edwin. No, of course, a gift is necessary on your birthday. Eighteen. Here, and he gives you this very crumply, hastily wrapped <laughs> package with a with a ribbon. Please open it. Uh, and inside is a beautiful crystal um, bottle full of gin. <laughs> <laughs> Something to loosen you up, dear. It's, you're 18 now. Gin is all the rage. It's very fashionable in London. Thank you, Edwin. You're welcome. Please have some. It is evening time after all. Perhaps later. Very well. Uh, and he then sits down as his mother just sort of stares hard at him. He's just like... And he immediately starts eating. You guys are free to join. Yes, you may give her your gift any time you want. Um... I didn't know what to... I know I don't know you that well anymore. If you don't like them, I can, I can take them back. I, I hoped you might. The ribbon, blue. Yes, I thought you could possibly, there's a yellow one too. I thought you could maybe wear them together. I don't know. Thank you. Oh, Gulliver's Travels, I've, I've heard a lot about that book. I, I have never read it, but adventure, giants, <laughs> little tiny people. <laughs> and you. and the other one, um, that I've forgotten what it's called, Evelina, mm -hmm. or uh, a his Evelina? Evelina, or a history of a lady's entrance into the world. The history of a lady's entrance in the world. Why? I've not heard of this book before. No, I, I hadn't either. It, it got recommended for me when I was asking. I was reading the blurb. It seemed interesting. Oh. Yes. Very interesting. I, uh, well... I am going to read these both as soon as I possibly can. Thank you, Talia. Of course. Well, thank you, everyone, for the gifts. I, I have never received such thought. I look at Edwin as I say this. <laughs> thoughtful gifts before. It was the least we could do. Let's eat. Yes. <laughs> and Agatha puts on a pile of steamed vegetables, some potatoes and some meat. And one thing she doesn't usually do, <laughs> she takes a drink. <gasps> Happy birthday, Agatha. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, she loves desserts. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner continues then. Mama, um, yes. 
Might I ask if it's not... Sorry. Do you know why Edwin... Ha Archibald... Sorry, Edwin. Uh, why Archibald had to leave so suddenly? It, it seems such a shame for him to miss such a lovely dinner. Edwin. So, oh, yeah, father didn't pay his bills. <laughs> Done a runner. Edwin. Edwin, shut your mouth. Mama. I'm sure everything is fine. There was an issue with some unpaid bills and... Your fathers seem to have gone off on an adventure, perhaps. For all of, of our fathers. That is my understanding. They've... Yes, it seems like they've perhaps gone off on a journey and not made arrangements for bills to be paid and I'm not quite sure, but... But Archibald is going to London, and I'm sure he'll come back with answers in the morning. But he's supposed to be back in two weeks. He, he can't be going on an adventure now. It'll take too long. Well, I'm, I'm sure, whatever, I'm sure it was just a simple misunderstanding. But, uh, Papa wrote to you, Mama. Did he? Has he? Yes, I got a letter from him about two weeks ago. And he was well? Yes. And my father, do you... Do you have any news of him? My understanding from from uh, from letters is, is that both your fathers were well. They were busy uh, with, in the king's court and uh, undertaking the usual business that they undertake. I'm sure all that's happened is there's been some misunderstanding with uh, the arrangements of bills. And yes. Archibald will return in the morning with proper news. Yes, I'm sure. I do hope. Please don't do put this behind you girls. It's nothing, yes, I'm sure. Mother. Archibald ensures me that it is a minor matter of inconvenience, I'm sure. Of course. Okay. We should not let such news trouble a happy celebration of birthdays. Of course. Yes. And what 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 would you like to do? It is your birthday after all. Dancing. Um step at the table. Oh absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well no, I'm... not at the table, just in the room serving. Oh no. Um well I call to a random mm -hmm. person then and I say can you grab the the boiled water and and a couple of bottles of wine? Right away, ma'am. Uh, and they head off to you know, get the freshly boiled water. It's not fresh, I guess it was done last night, but you get there. And yeah. if you two would like to dance, um, I'm sure I can allow it. <laughs> Thank you, Agatha. <laughs> yes. Perhaps just one or two. And you'll dance with me. Edwin. It's your birthday. You so already you know the answer. Be. I will dance with Mum. Perhaps one. And then it continues then. Uh, wine is brought out. Um, Archibald's special water from the basement, nice and chilled, brought out. Um, I am going to drink a whole <clears throat> glass of wine, which is not something I usually do. Yes. Archibald was planning on, uh, uh, I guess, um, Archibald was planning on giving a pianoforte recital for you all this evening. He has been quite keen, but unfortunately not. Uh, perhaps, perhaps I will play something. Yeah, Mama, that would be lovely. Your playing is, is exquisite. Thank you. Uh, she st stands up, moves over to the piano forte, sits down. <coughs> and starts to begin playing. While the music is sort of covering, I'm going to try and subtly get these two in mm -hmm. a space where I can speak to them at a lower register mm -hmm. away from the others. I have a glass of. Mm -hmm. I, 
I do hate to turn the topic back to the sad things, but... And, and of course I would never... Um, I, I would never doubt Mama at all, but I, I saw the, the man arriving who, who came to tell Archibald of the missed bills. And he said that they had not seen our fathers for three weeks. Uh, Mama says she received a letter two weeks ago, and I'm, I'm sure it was just delayed. But I, it seems as if nobody is quite sure what's going on, and I, I I'm, I'm sorry to put this on on both of you on on such a happy night, but I just, I felt you both had a right to know, and it was three weeks. It's three hundred pounds lunch all that to pay. The man said that they they check their rooms and all their belongings are still there as they were, undisturbed. They've, they've not rifled through them or anything like that, but nobody knows they've what's They've been happened. gone for three weeks and all of their stuff is still there. That's how it seemed. Now, I, I am sure Archibald will be back in the morning with, with more solid news, but I, 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 I just couldn't keep that from you. I'm sorry. And I finished my glass of wine. <laughs> I finished my glass of wine. Except mine was full. Finished my <laughs> drink of boiled water. <laughs> Edwin, a dance, perhaps. Yes. And you begin a dance. Cool. Um. Yeah, talk, just dance. Just wanted something to do. <laughs> I just sit and watch my mother play. Mm-hmm. And I sit, I observe with a small smile. Do we see the smile? It's very small. <laughs> okay, make a perception check then. I'm not going to because I'm just focusing on mine right now. No. Cool. Seth doing anything of interest, working probably. <laughs> what would Seth like to be doing? Seth would like to be at the party. Seth would love to, well, <laughs> Seth would like to be at the party. Um, I, I assume he asked like, oh, if there's any help that's needed at the party, I can do it. But Miss I... Reginald thanked you for the offer. Hmm? He thanked you for he the thanked offer. He thanked me for the <laughs> offer, yeah, so I, uh, I assume that that was a no, so I've just kind of been, you know, doing my duties, yes. but trying to get close. Like, the, the duties that need to be done as close to the party as possible. Mm -hmm. You were mucking out the stables. Okay. Is that anywhere near the party? It is not. It is not. No, okay, mm. I was mucking out the stables. I'm looking at the horse like, I'll tame you one day. <laughs> yeah, the horse watches you. Yeah. It sees you. <laughs> I see... Is there some... Okay. And then I continue mucking out the stables. Mm -hmm. The evening progresses. I've drink. drank another two glasses of wine. Mm -hmm. I haven't drank any more wine. Mm -hmm. I'm on three. Uh, your mother finishes playing. Bravo! Thank you. Well, I will retire for the evening. But you girls are perfectly capable of looking after yourselves, if you'll excuse me. Happy birthday again, Agatha. I do hope you had a wonderful evening. A beautiful evening. And she leaves. Good night, Mother. Good night, Rosalind. Talia. Good night. <sighs> More music? I suppose. Yes. Um. I'll any go. of you play? Yes. I suppose I ought to have one dance at least. <laughs> I did want it so badly after all. Talia, why don't you play something on the piano for us and yes. Rosalind, you can dance for us. Edwin? Yes? One dance with me? I would love nothing more. Something jolly, hey? Yes. Something yes. jolly. Of course. Uh -huh. 
drinks, more drinks. Do, 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 do. Dance together. One of the many rehearsed dances that you've Oh, ever. me and Edwin as children made up mm-hmm. so many dances yeah. together. It was one of those, because you're very close in age, you're definitely... Yeah. And he was actually the one that got you into dancing. If oh, you remember. yeah, I love that. Was I was like a toddler you. and he would like... He is yeah, actually very good at dancing. Good. I just watch them when mm-hmm. I play. And I watch as well with my hands in my lap. Boiled water. <laughs> and the night draws to a close. The end. <laughs> is that, is that, we're is that, is that it? what we're leaving it? Because mm-hmm. you said, oh. No! I. <laughs> Sun, 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 sun.